Emancipator? Quit! Let's see. Testing new FTK. Please don't quit. Well, guess what, FTK player? Quit! That's what you get. Another Adam Peter player! So original! Quit! Who else is here? Oh yeah, Mystic Mind player. <laughs> what? Are you quitting within the first few seconds of every match that you get into just because you don't like what your opponent's playing? No! Asking was just a formality. I've literally been standing here this entire time. Well, no one plays anything creative! And since we've been online for so long, people are playing the exact same builds now more than ever. If you're looking for a game that's not a money pit or bottomless hole of strategy, then maybe play... Ghost, we get it! You think Yu-Gi-Oh peaked a long time ago. Poker? Oh. Well, you still play Ghost too much! That may be true, but at least I can build my own deck instead of just sitting around bitching about how bad the game has gotten. <laughs> Prove it. It's actually what I was doing today. But somebody was making a lot of noise, so I came out here to tell him to shut up. Oh yeah, well, well, well I hope it breaks and I hope it, it doesn't end with a single negate. Shut up. When I announced this deck, you guys were cracking me up. Everybody expected it to be Heralds because I said, do you want to play Fluffles and negate everything? I gotcha. But I can see why because, you know, throughout the years, I played a Fluffle engine in my Herald decks because you could search wings and Fluffle combo and draw a million cards. It's so great, guys. But uh, this is something completely of my own creation. I wanted to build something crazy that wasn't based off of any particular archetype or strategy or anything that has been done before, at least done in... Oh, well, this has been done before too, but this is different. I wanted to build a crazy deck that could end with a very strong board and win going first because it could build such a strong board without uh, following any sort of archetypes or strategies that have already been done. And this is what I came up with, but disclaimer guys, this is a mill deck and because it's a mill deck, it's a more luck based deck just like any other mill deck. If you're not milling the stuff that you want into the graveyard, which is random, like from Charge of the Light Brigade or Dante or whatever, um, then you're not going to gain that much advantage. But if you mill all the things you do want in the graveyard, then you gain tons of advantage. So disclaimer, this is kind of a luck based deck. I'm just going to get right into this though guys. Um, I know this looks like a hot mess of cards and a lot of stuff just mixed together. And it is, but um, I have these ordered uh, well enough. Uh, I have them ordered in a certain way so it's easier to talk about them. And on top of not doing anything archetypical with the deck, I also wanted to kind of abuse cards that work once per turn, like Lumina and Charge of the Light Brigade and Tuning and all these cards that should be probably once per turn and aren't. So I wanted to take advantage of all these. Uh, cool Bolt Hedgehog isn't once per turn either. It banishes itself when it leaves the field, but you just get it back off Levy Air and keep abusing it. As long as you have a tuner, that thing will summon itself from the grave. Cool Bolt Hedgehog is insane and it's level two. It makes the level eight synchros way easier to make. So let's start this, guys. Starting with the, uh, I just call it the Quick Draw Engine, the Synchron Engine. 3 tuning, you play your Jet Synchron, Quick Draw Synchron, and Cobalt Hedgehog. Really good. Uh, you discard Cobalt Hedgehog, it'll just instantly special summon itself off, you know, if you discard it off a of Quick Draw. It's really good. Quick Draw is a fantastic starter, too, though, guys. Not only is it searchable, and not only does tuning mill after you search, or you can search Jet Synchron, which is great, as we all know, but uh, Quick Draw is not once per turn. So it's a fantastic starter. Not to mention Quick Draw is a tuner, which does come in handy to go into Needle Fiber and then get that O line out of your deck. That's usually what you do with Quick Draw besides use it as a starter to get stuff into the graveyard. Um, you usually search it so you, do, you don't mill it, stuff like that. Uh, Quick Draw creates, I don't know, it's just a good starter. Let's move on. Next up we have the Light Sword Engine. Now, um, I used to play Wolf in this deck. Uh, wolf sucks. You don't want to draw it. It's awful. It, it is horrible. The, the ceiling of this deck go, does get, get higher with Wolf because you have more stuff that hits the graveyard. And special summons itself for free, but uh, you're doing that at a risk of drawing this brick that you can't use. It's essentially a Garnet or something. So, three charges of Light Brigade and those three cards, add Lumina to your hand, abuse the shit out of Lumina later, make Levayers, make Dantes, all that stuff, or 
make a Coral Dragon and then uh, Quill Bolt into uh, level 8 Synchro and with your broken board. But uh, yeah, I only play the 3 Minerva and the 3 Lumina Lumina just because you can abuse, you know, just some uh, Lumina into Lumina into Lumina and you just abuse that with this deck. It's insane. I'll show you guys replays with it. Um, it you, that's all you do is abuse Lumina and, ab and make broken turn 1 boards. That's what you do. You don't need any of the other Light Swarms. Um, I actually like Minerva the best anyways because it hits the grave uh, from hand or deck. So if you like mill Minerva off a Toy Vendor, it's not too bad because you're like, oh, I'm still going to mill another card and it's and it's fine. And that next card could be Mally or Quibolt or anything uh, to keep you going. So Minerva, I mean, it's it's never, I'm never sad to see it in the grave because I'm like, oh sweet, I'm going to mill something else. And plus it's a tuner. Um, it, wor it works perfectly, guys. A lot, a lot of the time, the last thing you'll summon off of your Lumina will be that Minerva and then you'll end your board. And sometimes you'll summon Minerva off a of Needle Fiber just to be able to make a Dante or something and dig further into your deck. So lots of utility there. Uh, moving on, Eld Lick My Balls. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. The Golden Lord that everybody has been playing lately. Um, it's a fantastic card in this deck as well. You do want it in the graveyard. I'm um, not as bad as other things because you really want to send Toy Vendor with it and get a search for a bear so you want to open up Vendor. Uh, but it also works, believe it or not, if you uh, bounce uh, your bear searched uh, Vendor as well. Uh, the reason why is because you go through so many Skull Dreads, uh, your, your wings is never dead. Plus you can banish wings off of wings. Um, and in your, your chances of drawing, especially playing three Toy Vendor, your chances of drawing another Toy Vendor are really high. So if you think you're going to mess up your wings combo by like taking advantage of Eldlich or, or, or Zephros or whatever uh, you want to put put here, um, you're, you're not. Uh, the deck can actually keep going and uh, get through that Fluffle combo, get to that Fluffle combo again, even if you bounce that Toy Vendor. It's pretty great. Matter of fact, I'll get to Zephros in a minute. But two bear, guys. Bears are great to open. I've actually played three of it in this deck before. Um, you guys are probably going to be like, wait, where's uh, Fluffle Dog? You can play Fluffle Dog in here. Yeah, uh, actually, Chaos Betrayer uh, was Fluffle Dog. Uh, or the second wings was. And this deck's gone through a lot of different changes, guys. It really has. You probably are going to see like different cards in the replays I'll show you just because this deck has gone through a lot of different changes, but the premise remains the same. Mill a bunch of cards, make good boards. That, that's it. But about the tenth time I milled out Dog, I was like, you know, if that was a wings, if that was a second wings, even though it's once per turn, I think that a second wings would be great. And sure enough, I made that change and it's made a huge difference in the deck. Just playing a second, like, millable target versus a normal summonable target actually made a huge difference, even though Dog is a, is a plus right on the spot and triggers off of special summoning it off of Skull Dread, which is great. Man, Dog in this level four, Dog's a great card. It's a great card, but it was a hard cut to make, but it had to go. Um, next up, a Toy Vendor. Toy Vendor, once again, not once per turn. A lot of this deck is not once per turn. Um, anytime Vendor hits the grave, milling, milling uh, off the field, doesn't matter. It hits the grave, you get a search for a Fluffle. It's great. The really great thing is you pitch it off of Lumina because Lumina doesn't say monster, it says card. So uh, you pitch Vendor off of Lumina, maybe search a bear, then activate bear or whatever. Maybe uh, search uh, wings and then like discard wings and summon another Lumina, you know, Lumina, 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 like I was talking about earlier. And then by discarding that wings and that Vendor, you now have your Fluffle combo, draw more cards, go even more play. God, this deck can be really stupid, but uh, once again, it can brick though because it depends on your mills. Um, you want to obviously draw well in Yu-Gi-Oh, but with this deck being a light sworn mill-based deck, just like any other mill-based deck, how well you do with the deck, or, or you know how well the deck does, depends on the cards that you get into the graveyard. But Toy Vendor is a really great starter and gets stuff into the graveyard because you discard a card and you want your stuff in the grave and then you mill a card off the top of your deck and if it's a fluffle you can special summon from your hand which is really great when that happens and you play a few fluffles in here so it's possible and it does happen like I said but either way you, you're playing a deck that wants to be in the graveyard so you, whether you draw a fluffle or you mill a card either way it's for your game and that is where Zephros comes in Zephros the elite might be the best card in the deck um, it's a level four but here's the thing guys it works with the clown blade engine and it works with your quick draw engine and your fluffle engine and with your light sworn engine it actually ties the whole deck together sometimes I want to add more even though it's a once per dual card just because it's that damn good. Discard Zephyros off of Vendor. Activate Zephyros, bounce Vendor back to hand, discard another card, or one of my favorite unbrickings, uh, abuse Quick Draw Synchron, because Quick Draw is not once per turn once again. Um, you can unbrick with just one Quick Draw Synchron and a Zephyros sometimes, depending on your hand, and it's great. But what I find myself doing most of the time is getting Toy Vendor back to hand to pitch it off a of Lumina to go even more plus, or I'll bounce my own Lumina to hand and then summon a Dread and get that Lumina back to be able to use its effect again. There's all kinds of derpy things you can do with Zephyros. It's a fantastic card. And I mentioned 
addition, Zephyros is part of the Clown Blade package because it is. Not only is it a level four that works with the Perform Ages, so you can go to Minerva and Millmore, but it works with Thousand Blades because you pay life points and summon it, and then uh, that Thousand Blades, once in, when it's in the graveyard, will trigger. You make Minerva, Millmore. It's it's really good, guys. So just a little, um, you know, Perform Age and a uh, Clown Blade engine. It works great. Uh, Two Thousand Blades was too much. Like you just hate drawing it. Really, it's a mill deck, like I keep saying. So change it to each their own. Uh, this is the way I'm playing it right now, but this is obviously subject to change depending on how the mills go and stuff. Nothing but mills! Okay, Speedroid Engine. This is actually probably my favorite deck I've ever played the Speedroid Engine in, actually, ever. Uh, the reason why is because uh, Taka Tamborg is never dead. It's never a Garnet for you. Um, because between your Wind Synchro Monsters and your O-Lion and your Quick Draw Synchrons and Terror Top, you always have a wind, so it's just like, it's like having a hat tricker in your hand. Like, Taka Tamborg is really great in this deck. It's level three, going to Levy Air, going to Dante, go even more plus, great stuff. Uh, Terror Top, I will say, it sucks to draw mid-game, of course, because you need to have no monsters, so if you're, like, trying to extend your combo and you draw a Terror Top, you're like, well, I, I'm not gonna be able to extend with this, because it doesn't even work, but it's an extra monster. It's an extra card in your hand either way. Um, I will, so in this deck, uh, yeah, Taka Tambor, way better than Terra Top. I just play the Terra Top too because it does raise the ceiling of the deck and, uh, enable you to go into an instant Dante if you do open it, you know, it's, it's an instant plus, it's a good card. Then you play your two Mallies because we only have two Mallies, not three, uh, you would be playing, you know, uh, Cloak and, uh, you know, Glow Up Bulb, Distrudo, everything else, but, you know, those cards aren't around anymore, we gotta make do. And since we have to make do and I don't have a third Mally, that's where Chaos Betrayer comes in. It's a good card, it's, never, it's another level six to make your, uh, level eight Synchro's even easier, and that's really all it is. You can replace it with anything you want. It's the last addition to the deck, seriously. It's just another level six. If you don't mill Mally, it does make it a little easier to get to your level eight Synchro and with a good board, and that's, and that's it. That's all it's there for. Um, now, Sea Archiver, great card, uh, because whether, you're some, whether it's in the graveyard or in your hand, it's always live, and it's a water, so Dragite's more live. Uh, yeah, it, I, you guys are already playing this card. Fantastic card. Uh, oh, Lion, you guys are already familiar with that card, and it's shenanigans, that's your main level two tuner. Uh, you abuse the shit out of it, <laughs> like you really do, uh, with your Marcher and everything. It's it's a great card. Um, Dodge Scraper, it's a level one that you use to go into Marcher with, uh, with O-Lion. Uh, you know, and it replaces itself. You'll trigger it when it gets milled, or you'll like normal summon it and use it to go into Marcher or the first Dread or whatever, and then spec it back and then go into Marcher. Depends on your hand, of course. And then uh, the last spell, the last card of the deck, one for one, because uh, you discard a card, special summon from deck, and you can special summon Dot Scraper, which does everything I was just talking about good stuff. Alright, let's just truck through the rest of this. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say about the extra deck. You have your busted monsters you want to make, and you have your cards that build to your busted board. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you have Boral Savage Dragon, negates anything, equips a Link Monster from your graveyard to it, gets that number of negates. Uh, use it to, you know, build your perfect board with Dragite, so you have two negates on board with Appaloosa, and uh, between your Appaloosa and your two spell trap negates with Boral Sword, I mean Boral Savage, sorry, Boral Savage, and Dragite, you just kind of win. And then Appaloosa has however many monster effect negates you, you want. It just loses 800 attack. Fantastic card. Uh, but probably uh, MVP, one of the MVPs besides Levier, Dante, you know, or Skulldred himself, is really actually Coral Dragon. Uh, it's a synchro tuner, and th that's why. And it's also good going second because you can discard cards and destroy cards, so that's good. And mimicking a level six synchro in this deck is very, very easy, especially with Minerva and Lumina alone. Uh, but it replaces itself. When it's sent, when, it, when you link off with it, or if you synchro summon with it, you draw a card. So more Lumina Fuel, like more resources, um, plus another water in your grave for Dragite. So um, Coral Dragon might be MVP, uh, along with Marcher. You guys already know what that card does. It's, it's stupid. Level three Synchro with Olion. Let's just say you use Dot Scraper and the Olion. You can trigger both the Dot Scraper and the Olion. Summon those two, you know, the token and the Dot Scraper, and then you summon the Olion off of the Marcher. You already know all this stuff. This deck takes advantage of that combo as well. That's all I'm getting at. Uh, Minerva. Rank 4, it's the only rank 4 you play. Um, I had Dweller in here at one point, but I needed to make room. Dweller's also a good card, but you use it just to mill, and if you do mill Lightsworn, you draw two, so fantastic card. You gotta play it in any Lightsworn deck. Um, Levier, the Sea Dragon. I upped it to two because uh, being able to take advantage of Cobalt Hedgehog is actually really broken in this deck. Do it. <laughs> it's really good. It's really, really stupid. So I kept wanting the second Levier to 
climb higher and stuff. So yeah, this, the second level air is pretty staple for me. Play what, play whatever you want though. One Dante to mill. Uh, you got your Boral Sword there. Now there's the Boral Sword. Uh, use that for going seconds. Uh, three Skull Dreads because it's the it's the best card in the extra deck. It's probably the best Link monster ever it, uh, in my opinion. Like you, it's it's freaking graceful charity basically. But for modern, I don't I don't know what to say. Like it's great. Um, Appaloosa, another great card. Probably like that's like, your crown jewel of the board pretty much. Uh, after you've synchro summon these badass synchro monsters that say no, uh, you end with an Appaloosa as well that says no even more. <laughs> Whatever. Appaloosa's freaking great and staple. Another really great card um, is Aurorodon. Um, you guys are going to see the Aurorodon and ask about uh, Deskbot 01. Um, I'm not playing 01 in this deck because um, Aurorodon says when you activate its effect you can't link summon the rest of the turn. Um, that's a problem for the combos in this deck because a lot of the time and most of the time I find myself summoning Appaloosa last or another Dread or something after I've already synchro summoned at least once so um, you're not done link summoning so uh, that card this card is way better going second than first in my opinion um, it's objectively a really good card so it stays but I never make it going first ever 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 um, now a card I make going first every single time though is needle fiber because it's probably uh, it's, yeah it's like it's like skull dread needle fiber for best link monsters or something or like nightmare mermaid or something I don't know like there's a lot of really good good ones uh, we've, we've seen over the years now uh, and needle fiber is no different plus it's a water for drag I Great, great card. Now for the side deck, you could play Dark Ruler no more. You could play uh, Lightning Storm. You could t play Evenly Matched. You play whatever, whatever you want. I don't, I don't care. I put in um, a Cyber Dragon Engine just to be able to go into the Chimera Text to be able to link summon with the Chimera Text after breaking my opponent's board. That's what I did. Um, I also uh, took out uh, Herald. Yeah, that's what I did. Put it in the side because you can make it really easily in, in the deck, but it can backfire because it hurts you too. It's not um, Macrocosmos for just your opponent. It's Macrocosmos. For you too so it's like not as good as dark cloth for example so it does hurt you it can be kind of a loose cannon that way um side it instead of main it uh, but you, the, the, it was in the deck just because you make it so easily i just had phoenix for spells and traps and uh, cerberus for monsters just to be able to try to break boards easier if you guys want to play hand traps in this deck or if you're wondering about where my hand traps are uh you don't want to mill hand traps unless there's some hand traps that i don't know about that trigger in the graveyard somehow uh, yeah, this doesn't need hand traps. Uh, you just try to have um, so many good cards in your hand that you play through all of your opponent's negates. That's the idea here. It doesn't always happen, though, because, once again, mill deck, luck deck, but... Man, if they just have an Ash and a Gamma or something, it, like, uh, with some hands, that's fine. Like, <laughs> with some hands, it's fine. Um, like, especially if, like, if you've already milled off a charge, you know what I mean, and they, like, negate the add. But depending on what you've already milled, you're good for the rest of the turn anyways, is what I'm getting at. So, uh, depends on the mills. Depends on the mills. Nothing about mills, guys! If you guys haven't seen that music video, uh, watch it. It's one of mine. I uh, did it with uh, David Nader a long time ago. We made fun of Light Swords. That's all they do is mill. Like, Beverly Hills, like by Weezer, you know? Anyways. Uh, I need to make more music videos. That's another thing on the to-do list, another thing that COVID actually complicated and made, uh, you know, put on the back burner for the channel. Those videos still might take a while, especially because I'm going to be making more content, so the bigger projects are going to be kind of, you know, of course, pushed back until I get to make them. But uh, other than that, yeah, be looking out for the music videos. Those will get made. I'm not all talk. It's just sometimes I get caught up with things. Uh, the world situation does not help anybody's plans, now does it? But you guys can be expecting more content from me, more crazy stuff like this, more goats, and more of just all the other random Yu-Gi-Oh! should I do so I uh, hope you enjoyed this deck and uh, play it uh, change it if you want I just wanted to make something super crazy and uh, this actually believe it or not started off as a cyber dragon deck I was trying to abuse Zulkin with a uh, quick draw and it turned into this speaking of which the cyber dragon deck will come it will more complications and bullshit but we'll, we'll get there Subscribe! <laughs>